This month on Continental Bookshelf, Super Crunchers, Ian Ayer's new book on why thinking by numbers may be the new way to be smart. Today, number crunching affects your life in ways you might never imagine. Today's best and brightest organizations are relying on a new breed of decision maker. Call them super crunchers to call the shots and they're delivering staggeringly accurate results. There now have been hundreds of studies showing that simple statistical prediction is more accurate than humans. Humans still need to be the ones that come up with the hypotheses to be tested. But instead of your intuition being the end of the story, intuitions now need to be tested. They're just the beginning of a process of actually ongoing testing. The title of this book is itself a product of super crunching. At first I called it The End of Intuition, a title I liked a great deal. Then I ran a randomized experiment about the two title options, The End of Intuition and Super Crunchers, using Google's AdWords, and found that Super Crunchers produced 68% more click-throughs, meaning that the majority of consumers responded better to the Super Crunchers title. I could imagine an episode of The Apprentice where they actually test who is more creative by letting them come up with different internet ad campaigns and see which one produces more click-throughs. We're in the middle of a smackdown between traditional experts who base their opinion on experience and intuition and this new breed of super crunchers who base their predictions on uh, what the numbers say. The story of eHarmony is really a, a new kind of wisdom of crowds. You know, in, in the old type of online dating, they would ask you, who do you think you'd be compatible with? But eHarmony, it goes out and has you do a, take a personality profile. And it doesn't care so much about who you think you'll like, but it uses massive data set to figure out what kind of people tend to be compatible with, with you, regardless of what you think you'd like. One of the great powers of super crunching is that it's actually shown better ways to solicit charitable contributions. We all know of charities that offer matching contributions. Well, using randomized studies, we now have strong evidence that people do give more money if there's a matching offer, but they don't give more if it's $2 for one or $3 for one. You do just as well in, in raising up uh, contributions if you just offer dollar for dollar matching. Super crunching has already produced great benefits for the world and it's poised to do even more especially if we can become informed about its good and not so good points. Thinking by numbers really is the new way to be smart. Super Crunchers by Ian Ayers this month on Continental Bookshelf.